Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X-Plane 11. For this flight I'm in the Panavia Tornado by X-Trident and I'm flying from Prince Rupert to Vancouver in Canada in British Columbia and this is a payware plane and it looks like this on the outside it's got the wing sweep. I especially like the wing sweep on the Tornado and the F-111 because uh, the pylons have to turn to accommodate it's just one of those nice touches and uh, otherwise this is how it looks for this livery I've had some problems with this plane in particular uh, filling up the external tanks doesn't seem to work right uh, let me show you what I mean I don't know I'm just mentioning it just in case somebody knows the answer uh, so for instance uh, we've got an hour and 23 minutes here it says external tank one and two have zero pounds and I can't change that see um, let's say I top off the internal fuel weight here that gives us two hours and 47 minutes of flight time uh, apply changes let me go back to it and weight balance and fuel it's back down to 123 so it's something weird I don't understand you note that I've pushed the center of gravity a little bit further back that's based on what I felt seemed right I might be wrong but We'll try it out and see if, in fact, I've got the right ID on that. Uh, but otherwise, it had a little bit of trouble getting off the runway at a low enough speed. It was taking higher speeds to get off the runway. So anyway, but that might have been because it was pretty heavily laden. Another quirk is that um, the afterburner, I think, starts out at 50% throttle on my throttle lever. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, we'll see if that's still the case. I downloaded an update for it, for the plane, uh, though I think it's still the same. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, continuing on with the Apollo 13 audio already in progress. Uh, let me reset to where I was at. Sorry, I had been editing it earlier. Here we go. Okay, and the audio should get better as we go along. Okay, so here we go. You can see the fuel consumption is pretty strong here, and also the thrust is significant. So I'm going to turn it to 50% on my throttle, which I think is sufficient, and I think everything above that is actually afterburner. Based on fuel uh, consumption, next, uh, time not the visuals, medium, though. Could you get the readout of the repress package in the command module for us, Homer? Well, no. Okay. When you go back there, uh, Fred, they want the repress package readout. We don't want you to wake anyone up to get it. Okay, so how are we doing? We are headed south, as we should be. No problems. Okay, that's too much to climb, please. got severely dusty lines. I'm not too sure about that black smudge on the vertical stabilizer. I'm not sure what that's about. Well, lots of clouds today. Uh, Roger, a little later than that, like 106 or 107. Okay. Did you get some interior photos? Yeah. Okay. I like to show up the arrangement. 
If I think that we can afford the fuel, I'll try and put it on afterburners, but I want to see exactly how that shapes up. I mean, just taking a look at fuel tank 1 there, we're losing about 0.9 pounds per second. And that means we've got a little bit over an hour's worth of burn time. Since we need to go 408 nautical miles and our ground speed is 364 right now. Uh, well, of course we're climbing, but at this speed we've got just enough kind of thing. So I don't think afterburner would be a good idea. But as we accelerate, maybe it'll be better. But right now actually we're slowing down as we climb. I don't think sweeping the wings is going to help that out, but here I'll show you what happens with afterburner. I mean that, that's actually marginal. Maybe we can go up to here. But uh, fuel consumption does get pretty high. And then when the actual afterburn effect hits, look how quickly, so I, I'm just going to keep that off. <laughs> That that just bleeds fuel right there, and I don't think we could sustain that for a very long period of time. So I'm at 75% throttle right now. Eh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it isn't uh, afterburner fuel consumption. It's just really high. I mean, it told me uh, that I had an hour and 20 minutes with a cruise, and that's about at 50% setting. It'll be a bit weird if a uh, plane like this couldn't go 408 nautical miles on its internal fuel. This is Apollo Control at 98 hours 49 minutes. But here we are. Ecom says that repress package. One of the little problems I've had with this. Pressure is good. It's about where he would uh, expect to see it. He was pleased with that 820 pounds per square inch reading. And the repress we're going really slowly. Let me just level out here. Oxygen bottles in the command module. It's used to uh, quickly repressurize the command module after it has been depressurized. Uh, name repress coming from repressurization. In addition to these three one-pound bottles of oxygen in the command module, the the surge tank contains an additional three pounds of oxygen for the command module. Flight Director Jerry Griffin and his gold team have relieved Glenn Lenny. Haven't really been going fast and enough to warrant much team. wing sweep, but I'll give it a touch we right no now. Yet on the time for the but immediately we start briefing. losing speed? <laughs> um, no, uh, let's see. That's because we're going up. Hopefully it'll we'll reduce our drag. For live air ground transmissions. Aquarius Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, Jim, could you switch your biomed switch to the position opposite where it is now? We uh, are getting a subcarrier, but no data. Over. Diana. 
Okay, I'll sweep a little bit further. Just to see the effect. Okay, you can go ahead. That's 50%, not 50 and degrees, 50% fifty percent on my wing sweep level step, lever. Map five and six off and the following. Circuit breakers, panel, panels eleven and sixteen, ascent, ECA control, both open. We're just sticking to the okay, coast of British Columbia, uh, really. That's correct, Jim, and this is to guard against a single point failure that uh, a remote, remote possibility that uh, would preclude you from uh, getting the batteries back on. Roger. This is Apollo Control at 99 hours, one minute. Apollo 13 now is 167,992 nautical miles from Earth. Velocity 4,154 feet per second. Let's see. As you heard In on the cockpit. Air ground, we do intend to. Uh, we're uh, just Mach 0.9 something, just below Mach 1. Rather loosely. Really quiet in here. Basing it on the predicted supercritical helium tank uh, burst disc going as the pressure in that tank uh, rises to the point where it will burst the disc and uh, vent the helium overboard. However, we burned the descent propulsion engine, which is pressurized by this helium enough times now that we have enough helium entrapped in the propellant tanks, known as blowdown capability or LH capability, for uh, 800 feet per second delta V, so there will be no problem in in losing the, the remainder of the helium from the helium tank. Based on the prediction of 106 hours at the present time uh, for the helium tank relieving, we would expect to do the burn somewhere around 105 and a half hours. If the uh, helium tank relieves earlier, than predicted, we would uh, do the burn as quickly after that as operationally possible. We'd like to, to uh, do the burn uh, within a half an hour of the uh, tank pressure relieving possible. This is a non-propulsive -pro venting, but uh, will probably cause some attitude excursions and they would like to have the spacecraft powered up with the crew uh, in control of the uh, Aquarius when the uh, venting occurs. The mid-course correction itself will be a, a straightforward maneuver. It's an interesting sound it makes. Estimated right now that it will be on the order of seven to eight feet per second about a 15 second burn using the descent propulsion system. 
will use the AGS or the secondary guidance system, backup guidance system of the lunar module for this burn. The AGS takes less power than the pings, and we'd like to hold the power usage down. And this uh, burn is well within the capability of the AGS as far as accuracy. It'll probably be a burn on time rather than velocity achieved. It will be done uh, with the throttle in the minimum position. I'm so surprised it's not using the RCS. But. Flight Director Jerry Griffin has been taking a status report from his flight controllers. But then again, I think the RCS uses a different propellant and maybe they just want to reserve that because that's CO2. what's holding the spacecraft orientation the all the time so procedure worked out with the hoses and the uh, the makeshift shift method to uh, run the cabin air past the command module lithium hydroxide canisters appears to be working very well the uh, co2 uh, in the cabin is now up to only two tenths of a percent of uh, millimeters of mercury. Based on present uh, usage rates, we have enough water to last until an elapsed time of 165 hours, 14 minutes. But the water rate will go up slightly during uh, during burns. We expect to use about seven pounds of water for, uh, for a mid course. We have enough oxygen uh, to last until an elapsed time of 273 hours, 27 minutes under the present usage rates, and enough electrical power for 209 hours, eight minutes. We calculate uh, we have enough lithium hydroxide uh, for... Uh, well, it doesn't seem hard to trim this out. 164 hours from now. Very stable right now. At GDT time, we have enough remaining for 164 hours. All of these consumables uh, well above uh, what is required for a 142-hour elapsed time landing. This is Apollo Control at 99 hours, 17 minutes. Flight Director Glenn Lunny has left the control center for the Building One Auditorium and the news conference. And I repeat, Flight Director Glenn Lunny is on his way to the MSC Auditorium for the change of shift news conference. Well, they don't need any battery warnings. That's not good. Uh, Roger. Or was that planned? Uh, Roger, uh, Houston, uh, this Houston, could you close the uh, power amp circuit breaker and we'll get some high bit rate? Roger. It's closed. Okay. 
okay, and we need high bit, right? Are you picking it up, you? Right here, want to open the uh, bow load cross down, down 16, over. There you go. Open the uh, bow load cross tie breaker on down 16, over. Open balance load cross tie breaker on 16, Roger. That's a firm. It's open. If you're getting high bit uh, data, we can do an off reset and back on on battery two if uh, we're sending by flat. Okay, could you turn off battery two and uh, leave it off? Let's look at it. Hey, can you want us to turn off battery two and leave it off and you look at it? That's affirmative. Okay, battery two coming off the line. Okay, Aquarius, so you want to stay in this configuration for a while. Let's look at the battery. Roger, we'll stay in this configuration. Want to close the uh, bell load so circuit breaker back now. Range function switch to range, please. Current range function switch going to range. Right up. Jim, on the battery problem, we have determined that it is not overcurrent or reverse current. We suspect it's over temp, but don't know for sure, so we're going to watch it for a while. Okay. Oh, there seems to be a uh, shift in fuels between the auxiliary tanks and the main tanks. I guess that's triggered by some sort of center of mass thing. So that fuel is all shifting into the main tanks. Interesting. Actually, uh, this plane okay, comes with all sorts of interesting functions that okay, I am Jim, not using uh, at the like moment. But to pay, uh, page like there's is a moving a map configuration thing. And this is going to be a procedure for the uh, mid-course uh, burn uh, that we got coming up at 105 uh, with the uh, eggs up over. Right to the mid-course at 105 and I'm on page 24. Okay, 30-minute uh, activation, uh, omit uh, steps 1, 2, and 3, perform step 4, RCS system A, B, slash 2, over. Roger, omit step 1, 2, and 3, perform step 4. Roger, and uh, on the EPS activation, same page, perform step 1, and in step two, perform line number line number six, EPS display close, over. Okay, on uh, EPS activation, perform step one, and perform step two, line six only, is that correct? That's affirmative. Uh, 
uh, Jim, the rest of the stuff is already closed uh, at this time, so uh, that's all we'll have to do is close EPS display breaker. Okay. All right, uh, turn to page uh, 25. On page 25. Omit step oh, three. There are mock effects that I probably Perform don't need. Step four. On step four, last line. I think I trimmed. I wanted to trim down just a little EPS bit in order to avoid to uh, going over. too high, but I think I overdid it. Roger. I'll bet step three. Perform step four, except for the last line. Circuit breaker 60 EPS and we're too close. Roger. That's correct. Uh, on uh, step five, perform step five under primary glycol loop activation. Step one, line one, CB16 ECS display close. That's a crew option. You can uh, have it if you want to. Omit the rest of step one and step two. Perform step three. Over. We're about halfway through the flight. Okay, uh, on primary glycol loop activation, crew option on uh, step one, first line, the rest of it will omit. Step two will omit, and we'll do step three. That's permanent, Jim, uh, with the following uh, deltas on uh, step three, and if you'll turn to page 26, I'll give you the deltas on the uh, activation uh, circuit breaker list, over. Okay, I'm there. Raj, on line one, correction, row one, under AC bus A, tape recorder should be open. Deca gimbal, open. All the other ones as shown on the page, over. Okay, on uh, row one, AC bus A, hmm. tape recorder and deck of gimbal will be open. All Got some encoding things as explained right. for some reason, uh, suddenly decide to take more resources. To, uh, but during this burn, we're going to have to look out the forward window to get the alignment uh, with the... I closed my other programs this time, the, uh, honestly, but... Commander window heater, and uh, you can, of uh, course, use that uh, breaker... I think the main issue is OBS needing to upscale things. On uh, row two... When it comes to recording. Over. Okay, fine, Jim. Okay, on row two, on the RCS system A. So right and now, far, far to our right is Victoria one, Island, or... Well, up here it says Vancouver Island, but I could have sworn Vancouver Island was at open. Vancouver, and it wasn't the big... Yes, no, maybe I'm confused. Open. Anyway, the island that Victoria open. is on at the southern end is what I mean. Is open. far to our right, but we're still over mainland British Columbia. Okay, on uh, row two, we're going to open up SNC2 and SNC1 on the RCS system A. We're going to open up the mission timer. And flight displays the GASA and the ordeal. And the AC bus A and the GASA. That's permanent. Okay, row three on the propellant, decent helium, reg vent should be open under heaters. Rendezvous radar standby, open. Landing radar, open. Under staff control, ADCA pings, open. Under ED and lighting, all four open. Over. Okay, row three. 
Under propellant propulsion, the decent helium uh, brake fan will be open. Uh, the uh, standby uh, rendezvous heater will be open. Hmm. And uh, the landing radar heater circuit breaker will be well, open. Well, it's a nice landscape down there anyway. The horizontal stabilizer seems a bit fluttery even though I'm not adjusting my controls at all. Seems like British Columbia is more or less continuous. I haven't noticed any seams or anything. So that's nice. I mean, at least this portion, the coastal portion. Uh, 
Of course, the clouds might be hiding some seams. I don't know. I don't think so. deviate to where there's that channel between Vancouver Island and British Columbia where Campbell River is interesting sort of place should be ahead of us at this heading not that we're guaranteed to see anything with the clouds as they are Choppy suddenly okay, as it loads something or another. It's to verify that the heaters have been in auto for 15 minutes. Uh, back on uh, the first page of this procedure, you put the, the heaters in auto and you push the breakers in, and we'd like for them to warm up the quads for 15 minutes before we start to uh, stop and stop in PTC. Over. Roger, verify heaters are in CS line for 15 minutes. Okay, step two. Balance couple off. Dead band minimum. Attitude control. Pitch and roll to pulse. Y'all to direct. Mode control. Uh, Eggs. What do we Apple. have here? Comox. Well, guidance control. To that's Eggs. Campbell River right there, and you can sort of see the channel between the island and the rest of British Damn. Columbia. Race. I don't know what that. I mean, maybe it's called Campbell River. I don't know. Pitch and roll. Uh, we can't see Vancouver yet on here. Y'all with the ACA with the earth in the front window. Over. Is 
the control flutter sort of a flyby wire thing? Hmm. Or is it just allowed to do that? I don't know. see what happens if uh, I fully sweep uh, the wings. Had, uh, right now we're going up a little bit a higher than I wanted anyway, control. so if we lose some it lift it's not too bad. To pulse. Yaw to direct. Continuing on, on page 29 with the printed procedure. Oh, still going up. The oh, first, let me uh, trim down. We're losing scratch. speed and going up. Well, Step I don't want to dive too steeply because the uh, fuel efficiency is pretty bad down below. One change. Add a step. First step will be verify ASA CB 16 in for 10 minutes. The rest of the axe activation is as printed. Over. Oh, that's we got a brief look at the landscape there. Uh, we seem to have mock effects. Let's go okay, back into the cockpit. We're still ten short of mock, but we're in the transonic uh, region kind of thing. It's uh, the, the circuit breaker goes in on the circuit breaker activation page, Jim. So by the time we get here and have the rates all damp, we feel that that the uh, that the pippas will be up to temperature by this time and we can go ahead and uh, turn it turn the eggs on at this time over but we just want you to verify that okay one other question charlie i'd uh, like to know if uh the don't you give you about damping the rates is uh before the other information on page 29. okay well maybe we should That's see right, how this uh, goes if i push it a little page, bit more uh, the, on the uh, thrust. What we're really doing, uh, put it, uh, let's put it in uh, to right uh, before the AGS activation. The other, the other procedure oh, on the top of the page belongs with the DAP uh, set. Uh, oh, there's a jump to navigator we're seat thing there. All of that procedure. Well, we don't need so to do that. So the addition that uh, on the damping the rate should really go in right before the AGS activation. Over. Understand. Uh, what we're really trying to do is get you in a posture so that when you see the earth come through the window, you can uh, damper out and uh, hold. Well, let's pass the Mach earth, 1. Uh, in the window. Uh, proceeding well, we on sort of that dove the rest a bit. of page uh, 29 under RCS press, scratch the entire. At this thrust, uh, I'm trying to avoid going into afterburner. On page it seems to want to 30, tilt left scratch, uh, in this sort of region. The RCS press. Over. But yeah, I think we should just Roger, uh, not so under push it we'll, at this point. There we go. Step There's two, Vancouver International. Scratch. Step three, scratch. Landing gear deploy. Scratch. Over. Okay, 
Okay, on our tip spread, uh, we'll scratch the first line, and we'll uh, have a decent healing rate uh, truck back to I guess we'll descend just so that we can see stuff. And we'll scratch the landing gear to place. Okay, not that fast. Right. Oh, we sort of see some of the river ways behind us. Plus five. Barely. Then 400 plus zero. Attitude control. Pitch and roll. To pulse. Y'all. Mode control. Maneuver using TTCA. Pitch and roll. Well, hopefully it's loaded. The computer Vancouver is controlling y'all, but you can't override with ACA. You with me, over? Okay, Charlie, I'm with you so far. Okay, Jim. When in attitude, ACA out of detent to zero air needles. Then set event timer, and we'll give you a countdown on that uh, when you get uh, to that step, over. the earth had horns to place the x axis in the direction of the sun we'll uh, that will put us in bolt burn attitude and you can check that uh, via the sun which will be in the uh, the, the AOT detent 2 uh, should lie right along the cursor at the top uh, we'll have some more words on that for you momentarily uh, now I'd like to go on uh, to page 31 if you're ready, over. Okay, uh, I think I, uh, I have a handle on the attitude, uh, the way the uh, earth should look at the coas, and you're gonna give me some words of uh, what the sun would look like in the AOT, is that right? That's affirmative, uh, Jim. We haven't got a picture of it yet. Uh, it's gonna be in the top part of the coas. About uh, 52 nautical miles away. At the top of the uh, 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 the top of detent 2 in the top part of the AOT and it should in attitude if you're right on the sun should split the, the cursor though uh, that roll angle is not too critical if we're in about uh, 10 degrees uh, uh, we'll be okay uh, we, but I think we, we think you should be able to get it better than that 
uh, on page 31, uh, under the dips burn technique, you can scratch the bottom part below the little diagram there, since the gimbal is locked, over. I understand, uh, scratch the bottom part underneath the diagram because the gimbal is locked. That's affirmative, and uh, since the gimbal was trimmed out uh, 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 at the big burn yesterday, uh, we we should be uh, still uh, through the CG, and we'd like to make sure that uh, Jack uh, sits in the same place uh, for this burn that he did uh, yesterday. <laughs> They're getting the center of mass uh, just we, right uh, to make sure that the... No trouble uh, controlling attitude. Now I'm ready to go over to page that the, mo uh, the engine is burning right through the center okay, of mass. Let me see if I have that right now. You want Jack to sit in the same attitude so that the gimbal's in the same place so we don't have trouble controlling attitude. I have it. Okay. Now page 32. Top of the page. First line, scratch, verb 76. Third line, mode control, ags, at hold. At minus six minutes. Oh, pretty shadowy down scratch. there. Lines one, it suggests to me that there are more clouds two, than what we're seeing kind of thing. Always oh, suspicious Scratch, it's not rendering all the clouds. 20. Scratch lines two, three, and four. Now, at burn attitude, we want you to do a 400 plus five, and then a, ver a 400 plus zero. And we have a Caution note at this point, over. Go ahead. Okay, the caution is after 400 plus zero, do not go out of detent on ACA again, over. Okay, after the last 400 plus zero, do not go out of detent with ACA, is that correct? That's a rush, Jim. What happens is, of course, we reset, uh, when you go out of detent, you uh, reset the uh, AGS air needles and you, and you lose your uh, attitude uh, reference. Uh, you, you establish a new attitude reference and it might not be the, the uh, burn attitude since at this point we're controlling attitude with the TTCA. Now, uh, picking up with uh, the verb 37 enter, scratch, scratch everything down to the 404 plus zero and uh, we want you to perform uh, those ag steps uh, with 404 down through 470 over okay uh, we'll uh, scratch everything down to 404 plus zero and we'll perform those four steps right turn it over to page 33 minus four minutes Okay, uh, moving down. Okay, well, the, it didn't uh, seem as bad as I was about worried about to engine gimbal. in terms engine of fuel. Off. But still, would like to actually be down able to fill the external tanks. They were, I guess, empty during this flight. Just there Make for show. Read. Mode control, ags, at hole. And then scratch. Propellant quantity monitor, descent one. Over. Okay, at four minutes, engine gimbal will be off. Mode control will be to act at hold. Propellant quantity 28 miles, we should be able to fly straight Raj, in. Picking up at minus one minute. Scratch, master arm on. Minus 35 seconds. Scratch first two lines at minus 10 seconds change that to minus 9 seconds so at minus 9 seconds it will be manual ullage well there's a runway 13 
two seconds. Uh, Scratch. I think. CMC mode free. And scratch ACA out of D10. Are these? At oh, I guess it is runway eight going by that second. compass. All right. Terminate knowledge. We do have air brakes. Are you with me? Over. And lots of clouds. Okay, can we see stuff here? And uh, master arm off, over. Well, certainly some Press. stuff. Uh, the remainder of the page. Okay, now I'd like to verify that under the 35 seconds, minus 35 seconds, the only thing you have remaining is this engine arm to descent, over. That's the firm, that's the only thing I have. Okay, turning to the next page and the last page, Jim, uh, 34. Me, I won't fly straight in. Uh, it's not like Prince Rupert. There's a city here. Delta VX via four Somewhere. <laughs> uh, Scratch. Sort of thought uh, I'd see more of it from this vantage point, actually. And the decent helium rig. Scratch. TTCA commander. Reduced to 10 percent. I mean, we're right here. Now we want you to add a line. We're only 12 nautical miles Shut, away. Uh, it's a shutdown criteria. This is not a very tall city. Shut down on burn time minus one second. Over. Okay. But I get a strange feeling that something's gone wrong with the scenery. What else is new, right? Uh, from uh, Fido and a uh, couple of hours, I guess, when we stabilize out on our tracking. Uh, the reason for, if you're ready to copy, I have a couple of more steps here, and then I'll explain uh, the reason we want to shut down on this burn time minus one second. Uh, picking up on uh, when Delta VX, okay. when Delta VX equal to the final Delta VX, scratch that line. Scratch attitude control yaw to pulse. Add a, a correction. Scratch damp excessive rates via lim yz translation and add at that point null error needles. Trim address 470 to one tenth foot per second. Over. Okay, uh, going through. Uh, after the shutdown on bird time minus one second, we scratch the next line. Okay, maybe I see what's going on, on here. Pulse. Since the uh, ASA breaker has been out for so long, we're uh, not real confident that uh, our AX PIPAs are going to be uh, super sharp. So we want to make sure that we. We can see the airport to the right burn. there. That's uh, time, nominal. No overburn, so we're shutting down on burn time minus one second. And then that will allow us a plus X 
translation to trim 470. And there are a okay. bunch of parks, so uh, if we had an overburn, right in front of us here, these buildings are the University of British Columbia. So that's okay. And then past that is Pacific Spirit okay, Regional okay. Park. Okay, picking up in a so yeah, page. I guess uh, that ought to be green as it is. And then, and then there's the city of Vancouver, and then there's a peninsula with Stanley Park to the left. So yeah, that, that green blob of a peninsula is Stanley Park. So okay, I think everything is looking nominal. A little bit hesitant, but not too bad actually. Okay, well, let's just check the gear extension. When rates are less that was quick. Than Snappy. Alright, time to go back into the cockpit. Attitude Oops, I clicked the back cockpit. Okay, Charlie, can you hold up your just reset lock? this. For some reason, I can't zoom out. That's a little bit irritating. I don't know why. Uh, sorry, Suddenly, I can't step, zoom uh, out attitude, uh, with the scroll wheel. When at attitude, AC out of That's Raj. Uh, next step, step four, attitude control to yaw. Uh, correction, attitude control, yaw to mode control. Over. Okay, step four is attitude control, yaw to mode control. Roger. Step five. When rates are less than 0 0.05 degrees per second. Attitude control, yaw to pulse. Okay, there's the runway. In y'all. And that takes about 21 pulses. Step seven. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, go ahead. Okay, step seven. Mode control, ags off. Okay, step six was spin up to 0.3 degrees per second in yaw. That's about 21 pulses. Step seven was mode control, axe to off. That's firm. Step eight. Okay. Power down per... Let's power. Head off here. Correction. Power down per contingency checklist. Page power five. Over. Okay, a little bit high. That's permanent, Jim. That's the one we gave you last night after the big burn, and uh, we'll use uh, that one as modified by by us. Uh, this uh, we tried this uh, PTC uh, under eggs uh, in the simulator, and Ow. of course no slides or anything, but it seemed to work pretty good by. Uh, uh, nulling the rates using the TTCA uh, in pitch and roll and letting the uh, eggs do it in yaw. Uh, you null the rates by looking at the uh, arrow needles. It's landing gear and, is uh, a little bit wicked when, when sometimes, don't, uh, but anyway. Okay, it, uh, all right. Well, I did it again. <laughs> Land on one of the main landing gear instead of both kind of thing. Okay, and I guess, Charlie, you have no... Uh, Still, it's not complaining. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, steering is not good. Uh, I can't steer. I can't steer. Let me just break. Those wheels quite twitchy. Yeah. Tough to steer with that. All right, all right. Let me pause the... Apollo Audio, and we are here in Vancouver. Next time will be a B-17 to Seattle. Um, yeah. Well, that'll be completely different. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, with this, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.